Welcome to a special edition of Hard Talk from Sri Lanka. Today we're focusing on one extraordinary challenge being faced by this country in the wake of three decades of sectarian conflict. When the Sri Lankan army finally defeated the Tamil Tigers a year ago, they took into detention thousands of combatants, including hundreds of children who had been forcibly conscripted by the Tamil Tiger leadership and put onto the front lines. And now, of course, the question is how to rehabilitate those unwilling child fighters. And that is why I'm here at the Hindu College in Colombo, where they are trying to heal these wounds of war. Half past seven in the morning. Time for the students at Hindu College in Colombo to assemble for the formal opening of the school day. Amid the fresh faces and the crisp uniforms, it is hard to imagine that a little more than a year ago, these children were conscript soldiers in a guerrilla army. The Sri Lankan army was their enemy. Now they raise the national flag, and these Tamil children sing Sri Lanka's Sinhalese national anthem. This was the reality of the Tamil Tigers' child army. Rare footage from the early 90s shows young girls at a passing out parade being handed the infamous cyanide pill. Girls and boys were forcibly recruited, indoctrinated and trained to fight. Over the course of a 30-year conflict, many thousands of children, some as young as nine, were conscripted into the Tigers' ranks. In the spring of last year, when an all-out army offensive smashed the Tigers' last redoubt, hundreds of youngsters were amongst the captured remnants of the LTTE. Children exposed to horrors no child should ever see. which makes the transformation in just one year all the more remarkable. Nearly 300 former child combatants have passed through Hindu College in the past year. The school is the centerpiece of the Sri Lankan government's rehabilitation effort. We were given unprecedented access to some of the older students. They agreed to talk to me as long as their identities were kept hidden. If you can, tell me how you came to be with the Tamil Tigers. What happened to you to, uh, to force you to go with them? You were pretty much two years with the LTTE, the Tigers, and during that time the Tiger forces were pushed further and further back until their territory was very small and they were suffering big losses. Uh, 
இந்த உயிரை எப்படி பாதுகாக்கணும்னா இப்போ எப்படி ஒழுங்காக இருக்கணும் இனி எப்படி ஸ்கூல் படிக்கணும் இப்போ எப்படி நீட்டாக நீட்டாக இப்போ வர மாட்டேன் அந்த நேப்பிலாம் வந்து நம்மளே ஏக்கம் பின் வாங்குன்ற இது நேப்பில் இருக்குல்ல நான் இந்த உயிரை எப்படி பாதுகாக்கணும் நேப்பிலாம் இருந்தேன் Can you tell me about anything you saw then? Is it too painful or can you just tell me a little bit about what happened? என்ன சொன்னா இப்படி ட்ரெண்டே வரும் ராணுவத்துக்கும் எல்டிடின் சன்னடாகும் சன்னடதுன்ற கைக்கில் வந்து அவங்க அவையல் செல்ல அடிக்கிற வேலை செல்ல அடிக்க பாடிக்கும் வந்து ஆக்கள் அப்படியே சன்னத்தின் இதுகளுக்கு மேலே வந்து போடலாம் முள்ளந்து பார்த்தா அங்கே போய் பார்த்தா ஒரு தலை இருக்கா கால் இருக்கா கை இருக்காது அப்படி அது என்ன அப்படி ரத்தமாக இருக்க முறை இன்னும் ஒரு ஒரு செகண்டில் ஒரு ஒரு வினாடியில் அங்கே உயிர் போகிற மாதிரி உயிர் உயிருக்காவது அப்படி ஒரு கொஞ்சம் மண்டா சரி ட்ரவ் வாங்காலை ட்ராவல்ஸ் ஒரு மிஞ்சால செல் வந்து கொண்டிருக்கும் அந்த கண அப்படியே ஒரு கொஞ்சம் மண்டா எங்கள உயிர் போகிற கட்டத்தில் இருந்து நாங்கள் அதுக்குள்ளே நாங்கள் இந்த போய் பார்க்கல அது எங்களோட உயிரை தான் நாங்கள் பாதுகாக்கணும் When you were taken into detention when the war was ended it must have been very hard for you because for 2 years you'd been told by the Tamil Tigers that the only way to receive or to achieve freedom for the Tamil people was to fight was war was to fight against the Sinhalese people were you scared what were your feelings then அப்படி வந்து சலண்டர் அடைக்க கொஞ்சம் பயமாக தான் இருந்தது ராணுவத்தை சலண்டர் அடைக்க இப்போ இந்த கேம்பில் கொண்டு வந்து எல்லாம் நீட்டில் சாப்பாடு தந்து அதில் வந்து நான் சண்டை பிடிக்க தான் தெரியும் பண்ணேன் அதில் அன்பை எல்லாம் பார்த்தேன் இல்லை அதுலேருந்து தெரிஞ்சு கொண்டேன் இப்போ நல்ல நல்ல குணங்கள் இருக்குது அப்படி இப்படி The young people here are all boarders. Tamils from the northern conflict zone away from their own community for the first time in their lives. Did you like the singing yesterday? The singing. Did you like the singing, boy? Bernadine Anderson is Sinhalese. She teaches the children English, a language that can help bridge Sri Lanka's ethnic and cultural divide. You visit the zoo? Did you like visiting the zoo? Bernadine Anderson, welcome to Hard Talk. You have been involved with this school from the very beginning. What does it mean to you? At this point, sir, it means everything to me. It has literally changed not only my life, but the life of the teachers that have had this wonderful opportunity to meet these children. A children that we had, unfortunately, in Sri Lanka grown up to fear because of the reputation during the war uh, it was an amazing uh, opportunity to actually meet these children and understand from their point of view when you first encountered them and began to talk to them what did you find what i found was confusion they were they were truly confused i think that was one word that uh, that came to me there were others who were angry but this 